everybody. I'm just getting myself ready a minute while I let everyone get on. There's a lot of people. Um, yes, I very much intend on saving the video. All being well, all being well, it will be saved. That is the plan. Hi, everybody. Thanks so much for joining. Oh, Nicola, can you let me know, lovely, if you can hear me all right and if the screen looks clear? Hey, Sarah. Just get myself some water. Okay. Okay. Amazing. I'm just going to give it another minute, guys, because I want to make sure that everyone's here that wants to be. just like behind here <laughs> can hear you perfectly amazing thank you so much the screen is flickering is it flickering for everybody it's probably my light which I'm not an awful lot I can do about that I don't think I'm hoping it won't flicker when my hand is under it Yes, as in yes, it's flickering. That's annoying. Hmm. Um, let me see, when I hold this. When I hold this, is it flickering still? Or is it okay? Hopefully it's okay. Hopefully it's just, what, I think it might just be when there's nothing there, because I think it might be the reflection of the white, potentially. Okay, cool. Perfect. Just bear with the flicker while I'm getting prepared, guys. Just no flickering when your hands are amazing. Cool. Just buffing over a couple of popsticks. I'm a little bit unprepared because I worked late until dinner time and then went and had dinner and whatnot and came straight back out. Okay, cool. I'm going to have it in the shop. Okay, amazing. That's perfect. That's fab. Okay, so guys, what the plan is. So what we're going to do, um, I'd imagine I'll be on for like an hour with you guys, um, but we'll see how things go. So the plan is, is that I'm going to uh, show you all of the new build it. So we've got 10 shades to choose from. One of them is clear. So I won't obviously swatch that. Um, but there's nine colours, so we're going to swatch them. Um, I will do a bit of a demo of like application on on these pop sticks while I'm applying it. Um, and then what I'll also do is I've removed one of my nails so that I can do an application on my nail as well, um, so that you can see that. So hopefully that'll be really helpful for you guys. Um, there'll be a few of the other ads on here tonight, so please do um, ask away. Um, if you've got questions, I'm hoping that I will be able to answer most of your questions um, in a minute because I'm going to just chat through a few things as I go. Um, but yeah, so that's the plan. So we're going to do swatching on these pop sticks and then we are going to see an actual application on my nail, which I've just removed. So bear with me, we're nearly there. Just removing a bit of shine off these pops to make my life a bit easier and so you guys can hopefully see a bit better right so build it okay so build it when you get when it arrives it comes in this super cute box so i actually haven't opened them all yet because i only got them this afternoon the bottles are lovely so we've got a new style bottle really really cute gold lid and you've got the name of your colour down the side here. This one's Pom Pom. So we have got my love. Now I used this one this afternoon when it came. I used this on one of my clients and I absolutely love it. Um, the first impressions of the product were absolutely amazing. It went on like an absolute dream. Like, honestly, I can't describe to you how nice it went on. I was so happy and even my client was like, wow, that looks amazing. 
so yeah I've tried my love but I haven't tried the others so this is all going to be as fresh for me as it is for you in terms of what the colours look like this one is cherub so that's your more pinky one if um the heater that keeps clicking in and off behind me gets annoying just let me know then you've got blondie And then this one is Pampas. Move them forward a bit so you can see them. The bottles look so good. I love them. Nice, they're a different shape as well. It kind of helps when it's on your shelf because everything starts to look the same after a while, doesn't it? Creme brulee. And it's nice that it's got the little strip of colour down it as well. I think that's going to be really helpful. Uh, biscotti yeah I love the bottles too Fran they look so good um the full collection I believe um the full collection will be 140 plus fat but um hopefully Sarah will be here and confirm that uh, is there a clear yes I've just opened it it's here I won't demo this one today but there is a clear um, yeah, the collection is, I believe it's 140 plus fat, but if you buy the full collection as the full collection, you will also, um, you will get an, a um, free webinar as well. So if you want to, bear with me a minute, I'm trying to do too many things at once. We've got Bunny and then we've got Frosted. Yeah, so 140 plus fat with a place on the live webinar. So, guys, just before I start, I'll just, I will mention this a couple of times. Um, the, if you sign up tonight on the website for VIP Early Access, you'll get an exclusive email tomorrow morning to a secret list in, so you can buy the full collection and that will get you the free webinar as well. Okay, so um, they go for general, they'll be on general release Saturday, um, but if you want to get there before everybody else and you want to get the full collection with that free webinar then you need to sign up tonight which will be which is really exciting okay so where are we at i feel like i just missed what is the mill the mill is 16 mil i think yeah okay right Let's go, let's start swatching, shall we? Okay. Right, if this goes off screen at any point, please let me know, because when you get in the zone, it's kind of hard to tell sometimes. So, we'll start swatching. I'm just gonna go for whatever I've got here. Does early access any apply to buying the full collection? Yes, that's correct, yeah. Okay, so we're going to start with Blondie. Now, while I'm doing this, I'm going to try and talk you guys through some points about the product. So, obviously, you guys, well, most of you guys will be aware that we've got GMS, which is our structure gel, and we've got Build Me Up, which is our current builder gel. Um, Build Me Up is a little bit more like a hard gel builder gel. It's, this one's going to have a bit more flexibility to it. Um, and it's, I would say it's got what that more classic builder gel viscosity that you, you would probably expect from a builder gel. Um, this one's also soak off and infill. So we are going to apply this baseless, okay? So this product can be applied baseless, but it can also be applied with one of the Magpie base coats if you prefer. Um, when I applied this this afternoon on my client, I did it baseless, and I'm also going to do it baseless on my nail today to show you guys. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about the differences um, and more detail of everything as we go on. Um, hopefully some of the other girls might be able to help out as well while I'm doing this, because it's quite hard to answer questions and swatch all at the same time. So um, I'll do my best. Bear with me, guys. So this is Blondie. It's a super, super nice natural colour. So if you're looking, so this would actually be so good if you're like doing a nail repair and you don't want that sort of bright white tip, you want to make it look natural, this will be perfect. But also it's going to give a really nice natural look anyway. So what we're doing with Build It, we are doing our normal prep 
everything that we would normally do for magpie really thorough dry prep we're using our prep and dehydrate all over the nail giving it a good old scrub and then if you're applying this baseless which is what i'm doing now we're actually making a base coat out of build it so that's our first step so this is just our base coat layer like i said you can use a base coat if you want to but you don't have to okay so we're going to start with blondie and we're also going to do another one at the same time let's pick okay cherub so i'm going to do two at a time here okay hopefully you can see how pink this is it's so nice let me just sort this one out a minute okay so again i'm doing that nice thin base coat layer so all over the nail nice and even as if you were just applying a normal base coat but we're just going to do it with build it so it saves saves you using another product okay so these are going in the lamp for 60 seconds while that's cooking um i'll talk you through some other points so like i said build it is baseless you can apply it like a base coat as i just did or you can use a base coat if you prefer um it is easy soak off so it's uh comparable to soak off to our give me strength system so you would obviously remove your um gel color from your nail um and obviously if you move a, remove a little bit more of the builder gel it's going to soak quicker um but the the removal should be much easier than build me up it's vegan and cruelty free it is suitable for natural nails so an overlay for natural nails um you can do like one layer um so you would do your base coat and then your structure layer your apex layer so you can do that if you feel that the nail needs more strength you can do another layer and another layer it's very much dependent on what you feel that the nail needs so this one's got a little bit more flex in it than build it uh, build me up sorry so this one's going to have more flexibility so it enables you to not have to apply quite so many layers if you don't want to um whereas because build me up is a harder gel um it's got slightly less flex in it so it you do need to have a certain amount of product on it for it to keep that strength without it sort of cracking whereas this is more flexible so we can just do a, like a one bead method if we want to okay so come back to more info in a minute so i'm going back to blondie here so we've done our base layer and cured it for 60 seconds i can see sarah's helping you out guys with the questions which is helpful <laughs> so this is our slip layer now okay so if you're familiar with um how we do our structure gel application or our builder gel application it's very much the same um we're doing a slip layer first then we're going to go into our bottle and get a larger bead now obviously this nail is really big <laughs> it's a lot longer than a natural nail would actually be so if this was in um you know in person i would probably be looking at doing um a couple of layers here rather than one big old bead but this is what we're doing for now so this product self levels absolutely lovely i'm probably going to need a bit more because this nail is so big i'm just going to pop more product down okay so you can see the colour of this one is really lovely. It's like a really nice creamy colour. It's quite natural looking. And then as I'm coming down to the edge, I'm just going to feather that out. It self-levels like an absolute dream. Hopefully you guys can see that. It's kind of self-leveling for me. If you do want to give it a little helping hand, then you can use a brush. But when I was doing my um, client's nails earlier, I found I didn't need to do that at all. Um, this is a bit different because I've got a lot of um, product going on here because it's a bigger nail. But when I was actually doing this on my client on a, a normal length nail, so I should say, um, that was super easy. Self-leveling was not a problem. That bead didn't move. No, it didn't. It's really, really nice, isn't it? I'm just going to get a little brush to show you guys. 
what I'm gonna do next a minute. So if you find that you have a little bit too much product in one area, um, then we would use like a liner brush. Bear with me. Yeah, the line of light, that's what I mean. The line of light is there and I haven't even touched it yet. It just needs a little tweak because I'm fussy as anything. <laughs> Can I put builder jar in the hot water to make it more liquid? To be honest, I I really don't think you would ever need to do that with this product. It's not that thick and it's not thin either. Um, it's perfect. Like it's literally perfect. So I can just see that I've just got a little bit of bulk here on the um tip. So I'm just gonna pull it back a little bit with my um detailer brush here. But like I said, when I was doing this on a normal nail with one bead, it I really didn't even need to tweak it to be honest. So it definitely is going to be a time saver because you're not going to be having to worry about self-leveling the product out. So hopefully you guys can see that. It's really, really smooth application. So that is Blondie. I think a lot of people are going to be quite excited to see Cherub because it is very pink and cute. Okay, so this is our base layer. It's had 60 seconds. Can I use it for extensions? Yes, you can. This can be used for natural nails um, and it can also be used for uh, extensions using tips and with forms. So this is your slip layer, guys, again. What brush did I just use? It is the Detailer 12, I think. Let me just double check that for you. Detail 12, arty brush. I just, I'd love a line brush for helping do this sort of thing. Okay, so I'm going into my bottle. Hopefully you guys can see this in the background. I'm picking up a nice bead. It's not going to be enough again. I'm probably going to need to go a bit heavier with this. But again, please remember, this is a really large nail pop. If this was on a person, I would not be applying this amount of product. And that's why I felt it was important that I do an, an actual demo on my nail at the end. Um... Maybe we go, we can all, like, you guys can let me know which colour you want me to put on my natural nail later. Um, and I'll do a nice demo of that for you. Um, but like I said, on a natural nail, you're not going to obviously be applying it this thick in one go because you don't need that much product. I'm running out, you see, because it's coming so far down the nail. I'm going to get a bit more. But you hopefully you guys can see how that's self-leveling. So you can see where I'm letting go and it's still it's still doing its thing. Okay, so we're just moving it back and forth and then you can float down to the end like so. You can also use a brush, so if you want to use your brush like I did, you can just tickle it into place. You really don't have to touch it very much guys. If you wanted to make this pink even more vibrant you could do another coat but you can see that the pigment in it is actually really nice really really nice just from that one builder layer again the line of light is pretty much where we want it to be it's really nice and smooth i'm just being fussy okay so this is cherub i really hope you guys can see the colors as i can because it is so love like this is so dreamy it's so cute really really lovely so that's cherub that one's going in this is Blondie, that's all cured. And that one is all cured. Can you see, you can, I mean, you can refine it. You can absolutely refine this product. I refined a little bit earlier on one of the nails that I did, um, just to see how it felt with a, with a hand file. And it was super duper easy to file. Um, but if you look at that, you're probably not gonna need to because it just applies lovely and it, it really does self-level beautifully, which, is obviously really important with a builder gel. So that's Blondie. I'm gonna put its little sticker next to it so I don't mix them up. I hope I haven't missed any major questions. Is it like GMS Cupcake? It's, I would say it's similar, but I would say it actually comes out slightly pinker. Um, but yeah, very similar in terms of color. So if you like Cupcake, then you'll like that one for sure. Is it self-leveling? Yeah, 100%. Like, 
the self-leveling properties of it are absolutely amazing. You can see how smooth that is. And I've barely had to touch it, to be honest. Okay, so... Bear with me a minute. I'm looking for my little thing. Okay, cool. Next. Okay, so let's go with a slightly different colour. I'm not going to do clear. Let's go with creme brulee. So here's creme brulee. Oh, that looks nice. That looks like a really nice nude. Okay, so first up again, same as before, we're doing a base layer. Uh, like I said, just in case you're new to the live, um, in case you missed the start, um, you can use this um, baseless. So we're just making our, I've got a little bit of dust in there, making our own base with the product itself. Um, if you want to use one of our base coats, you absolutely can. Um, but hopefully you'll find there's no need for that because there's really good adhesion properties in this product so that's just a base coat layer that i've made with build it and it's going to go in the light for 60 seconds now we're going to do another one at the same time let's go with pom pom the colors are so nice aren't they fran look how cute this is so pretty I'm really loving the bottles as well, like really loving them. They're so nice. I also really, I'm really loving this slightly longer brush. So the brush is slightly longer than what we've got in our um, other builder gel, Build Me Up. Um, but it's very, very nice and very easy to work with. And it makes it nice and easy to float the product on. So again, this is your base coat layer. You would just go around make sure everything is covered and it's going in for 60 so we've got creme brulee and pom-pom that I'm doing now um do you recommend to infill or remove each time how is removal so um this product can be soaked off but it can also be infilled of course we're always going to recommend that you should infill where you can because don't want to really keep soaking nails if you don't have to because acetone can be quite drying um but this is an easy soak off formula so if you need to remove it um at each application then you absolutely can um but um there really should be no need for that you should be able to infill the product um yeah i hope that answers that question okay but yeah it's soak off or infill um what else what have i not said about this product that would be good for you guys to know so it's vegan and cruelty free i think i said that hema free dihema free iboa free and then i don't even know how to say that one i iboma i it's like iboa but with an m in it isobornal methacrylate basically so the four big ones that we all hear about this uh, product has got none of them in it okay so it's got no hema no iboa no isoprenal isoprenal methacrylate and no dihema okay okay right hopefully that made sense i feel like i'm talking gibberish now prep is exactly the same as you would for any of our systems okay so um you do your normal dry cuticle prep really thorough make sure that you do a really thorough job like you should with any of our systems um, and then um, use your prep and dehydrate so uh, making sure that you're not just using acetone um, with magpie we strongly strongly encourage you to use prep and dehydrate um, so we're using your prep and dehydrate liquid all over the nail under the free edge make sure you get right around those side walls and then you can go on with your application okay so I'm going back to creme brulee. Okie doke. This is our slip layer. I feel like such a wally that I don't know how to pronounce some of these words. It's those words that you know about, you learn about them, but I don't know how to actually say it. <laughs> Which is great. Make myself look like a right Wally in front of 200 people. But you know, I know what I'm on about. I just don't know how to say it. <laughs> okay, so again, I'm just getting quite a bit of product here. 
So I'm stopping in my tracks a little bit because I want to make sure that you guys get to see the actual colour properly. So you can see when I put that product down, can you see it self leveling? If I put a blob, hopefully you guys can see, can you see it's merging into that line? So you're getting that little line there, which is amazing. So that just shows how easy this self levels. So it really takes a lot of the work out of it for you. Okay, so we're just gonna do that classic builder application, feathering down to the free edge. And again, you can see I've literally not touched that yet. It will need a little tweak at the free edge because I'm fussy. But all of this area here, hopefully you can see sideways as well. It's just It just goes on like an absolute dream. Like, yeah, it's perfect. I'm so chuffed with it. I can't tell you. Sarah has done a wonderful, wonderful job with this product. It's just what we needed. It's what we've been missing. And it's definitely been worth the wait. So again, I'm just coming down here. Okay. You can check your line of light. So if you don't know what that means, it's where you've got your light above your nail and you're just checking. So if there's a slight wobble in it, it needs a little bit of refining. And you can just do that with your brush like so. But you can see the rest of the nail, the apex and everything has gone on like an absolute dream. All I'm doing is just tweaking this little bit of the free edge because I don't want it to be too thick on the free edge. Don't want to get that sort of lip but there you go gorgeous so that one is a creme brulee that one's going in that is perfection i know isn't it it's so nice uh prices um so the product is um 14 pound plus vat per bottle um the full collection you are paying 140 plus vat that is for the full collection. However, if you sign up tonight for the VIP early access on the website, you'll get an exclusive email sent out to you tomorrow morning uh, to a secret listing to enable you to buy the full collection before everybody else. And you'll also get a free webinar, which is really exciting. Okay, we're going to go on to Pom Pom. I've got like a little spot of dust or something stuck on here, which is highly annoying. Maybe it's underneath. Okay, just ignore this little dot. I don't know what I've got on there. Okay, pom-pom. So this is slightly more pink. So again, we're going to go over and create our slip layer. I hope you guys can see how nice the consistency is. It's so lovely. It's so, so nice. There's no drag. Like, you are not dragging this product. No bubbles. It's just dreamy. So we've got a slip layer. Okay, we're going to get a really big blob because the nail is very, very large. But again, please do make a note that this is not how much you'd need on a natural nail in one go. So you can see that self-leveled straight away for me. So I'm just going to pop that back to the cuticle area. Okay, and then I'm just going to move it to our apex. The self-leveling is actually unbelievable. I thought Build Me Up bottled self-leveled really well, and it does. But this is, like, kind of doing it for me. I'm not really having to do an awful lot here. You can use your brush if you don't have a detailer as well. So if, you like, you want to help self-level it like that, you can change the angle of your brush. I just i am quite fussy, so I do love to use a little detailer if I can. So again, I've just put a little bit too much there on that free edge, which I don't want. If you find you get too much down the sides, you can use a brush as well. You can bring it up. Can you see that moving back upwards? And then move it back. Just checking it's even. I'm doing it at a bit of an angle here. Get that free edge nice and even how we want it. Right, I'm going to check in with your questions now. Okay, oh my God, that colour looks great, doesn't it? That's pom-pom. That's a really good um, reflection of the colour there, actually, on the side panel too. So that's pom-pom. Pom-pom's going in. And this one is creme brulee that's just come out of the lamp. Looks exactly the same as when it went in. So the cured colour is the same as the uncured colour on that one. 
Um, I saw someone asking about that, but that looks perfect to me. Dreamy. So that one was creme brulee. I'm just putting it. I've already done my little stickers, but I haven't had time to stick them on. So I'm just making sure that we're like they're all together. Right. Let me just check these questions because I feel like I'm neglecting people. Um, anything here that I've missed? Does it thicken when stored in a colder room? To be honest, um, nail design by Lucy, I can't tell you that right now. Um, however, I work in a summer house. That's where I am right now. I've worked in my summer house for nearly five years. All my products are Magpie. They're all on shelves. I use Structure Gel and Builder Gel. I've never, ever had a problem. And it can go as low as minus five in here in the winter. And it can go up to like 33 degrees in the summer. Um, obviously, in the summer, things do get a little bit thinner because it's hot. In the winter, things can get a bit colder. Um, but I do the wonderful, very professional trick when things are a little bit cold, is I pop my Builder Gel between my thighs. Now, I know not all of you will say that you do that, but let's be honest, I'm sure most of us do. It's a really good little trick. So just, when I know what I'm going to be using, I'm just going to pop it in between my thighs while I'm finishing getting the nails ready. <laughs> and that tends to do the job perfectly. You don't need to be worried about it. It'll be absolutely fine. Okay. Yeah, we all do it. See? It works like a dream. Okay. That looks so cute. So this is pom pom again. Looks the same as when it went in. I really love that. That colour is gorgeous. So pretty. I put mine between my boobs. Yeah, I don't do that because I don't have enough boobs to do it. <laughs> and thighs. I feel like if you put it in between your thighs, it's a little bit more inconspicuous. You know, you can just kind of grab it off the shelf. No one, will, no one needs to know. <laughs> um. Can you buy them separately? Uh, you, you will be able to buy them separately. However, if you want to get them um, first, the exclusive um, tomorrow is the full collection. Okay. Right, that was pom pom. Where's my pom pom sticker? Okay, I hope you're still with me, guys. I hope you're still enjoying seeing these because I know it can get repetitive when it's all swatching. But I promise if you stick with me, we are going to do my nail. But I just want to get through the colour swatches first. Okay, so we're going to go to my love. So this is the one that I used on my client earlier. Um, asking about heat spikes. I didn't. Ex my client didn't experience any heat spikes with the product. However, um, if you're finding that an issue, then you could use your low heat mode on your lamp. Um, hopefully, Sarah might be able to clarify that, make sure that I'm telling you the right thing. But we didn't have any problems with this when I was using it earlier. And my client is very honest because she is my longest standing client that I had in. So I've been doing her nails for 12 years and she, well, actually probably longer than that now. And she would tell me and she said it felt absolutely fine. If a client wanted clear, what would you recommend using? Well, we do have this in clear. So if you do want completely clear then that is part of the collection. Okay, right, we're gonna go with my love. Again, it's a really nice, like sheer pink, but it is different to pom pom, so you'll be able to see that. Has it been lasting? Well, any picks after three weeks? Uh, it has been lasting really well. So um, Sophie, you'll probably know her as Rainbow Sophie Rainbow Nails. Um, she has been using the product in her salon and she is absolutely in love with it. I don't know if she's on tonight. I don't think she is, but um, she's been loving the product. Sarah might be able to give you a little bit more um, feedback on the product from what Sophie said. But everything that I have heard has been incredibly positive. Um, and I'm very... Oh, no, I'm doing base coat. What am I doing? I'm very confident that the product's going to be perfect because to work with is an absolute dream. I was getting ahead of myself there, guys. So I'm just taking this off a minute because I'm going to put this in as a base layer once I get a little bit dust off so again I'm using this as my base coat okay so nice thin even layer it's going in that's gone in nice see the gold lid back does it rub off I'm pretty certain these gold lids are going to be perfect I think again I think Sarah or Mrs Magpie will be able to um clarify that but I have no concerns about these gold lids 
I think they're going to be absolutely perfect. And they do look great because it will differentiate the product on your shelf. So it's going to look fab. Yeah, there you go. It doesn't. Love it. Price per bottle. And yep, so it's £14 plus VAT per bottle. Okay, so that was my love. And then we're going to do... Let's do Bunny. Actually, no, let's do Biscotti. Do you not cap the free edge as you go? Yeah, you can absolutely cap the free edge. Um, I do... You would cap the free edge on a natural nail. Um, however... I am a big fan of finish filing, so I'm not overly concerned about capping, which is a bit controversial. Um, but with Builder Gel, yes. Yeah. So what I would do is with your base coat, I'd absolutely cap. So go around your edges as if it's a natural nail, like so. So capping around the edges. But when you cap, make sure... The one thing I see a lot of when people cap, they tend to just do this... And then they leave it and then you end up with like bits that are like messy at the end. When you cap, you then need to go back over your nail like so. Okay, to smooth it all down. So you've still got that capped product on the end, but you're not putting loads of product on the end of the nail and giving it that like bulbous finish. Which way would you put them on the shelves label first or screen print? Um on the shelf do you mean like will i keep them will i would i put them this way because i would 100 percent want it this way to see the color if that's what you mean sarah apologies if that's not what you mean and i'm being silly but i like i love that you can see the color i think that's really really nice it's a really nice touch so i'm going back to my love Yes, that way. Yeah, I would definitely this way, Sarah, because you want to see the colour. And I think that's the beauty of this is that we can see it. I think that's going to help loads. And I just think it will look really nice on the shelf. So this is my love. We're going to, we've done a base coat layer with it. I'm now going to do my slip layer, like so. Oh, the other. So you've got the colour and then... It's printed like that as well, which looks super cute. But yeah, personally, I just like to see the colour. But yeah, it would look great either way, to be fair. But I think seeing the colour would be helpful. Okay, cool. So we've done our slip layer, uncured. And then I'm going to grab a nice big bead so I can show you properly on this nail pop. Let's scrape it off so you can actually see it's self-leveling, doing its thing. Yeah, the printed side looks cute as well, doesn't it? The bottles are just lovely. Really, really nice. Can you use it for sculpting? Yeah, yeah, you can sculpt with this product. You can use this for natural overlays, over tips and for sculpts. And I mean, look at it, guys. It is literally going on like a dream. You can see I'm literally, I'm just tickling it down the nail. I really am barely touching it. Just get that side in. Right, we're just going to watch that a second because bear in mind I haven't touched it with a brush yet. I want you to see that. Colour face in both lashes. Yeah, 100%. They look so nice. So again, looking at that, you can see it's just on that tip where I've got a little bit of product that I want to pull back. Um, but that's more me <laughs> than the product because you can see it's self-leveled like an absolute dream all the way down. So I'm just pulling back a little bit. If you ever get that little sort of lip at the edge all you need to do is use a brush like this just to pull it back and that will just get rid of it how big are the bottles they're 16 yeah 16 mil so i'm just tickling around the edge making sure it's a nice even application it really really is that like it's so easy i feel like this will cut people's times down as well because it like you're you're not fighting with this product it just does it for you essentially as long as you've got that nice soft builder gel motion going it does the job so you can see that nice line of light there how dreamy is that color so that is my love that's going in that's going in for 60 seconds that was my love and then i'm going to finish off biscotti Okay, so biscotti. So this is the base layer. 
Now we're going in with our slip. Oh, this one's going to be a nice nude. Okay, base, uh, sorry, slip layer going on here. Nice and even. Um, let me see, can we use clear like GMS to encapsulate glitter? We'll talk about... Yeah, I don't see why not. Absolutely, I, I would say this or GMS. It depends what you're doing as well. Like if you're doing like a chunky glitter, you might want this, it's slightly thicker. Um, with GMS, uh, with, sorry, with a fine glitter, you probably don't need it. So you can just use your GMS. Do you need dehydrator and primer? You don't need um, primer, no. Um, you just need to use our prep and dehydrate liquid, which is what we use for all of our Magpie systems. Okay, so biscotti. So this is our slip layer. You can see that the colour is beautiful and I've barely even, I haven't even put much product on here yet. Okay, hopefully you guys can see that self-leveling itself already. I'm not going to be able to choose just a couple. I know, I know, this is, this is not good. It's going to make you want them all, I'm afraid, because I, at the moment I just can't pick a favourite. They're all so nice. And I feel like you do... You do need a nude for everyone, right? Everyone has a preference when it comes to a nude. These are just going to be an absolute dream for doing like a French as well. They're just going to be so lovely because you'll be able to find a base colour that suits anybody. Also, you'll be able to do a boomer with this. So if you want to do a baby boomer, but you don't want to use the pigment, you could use um, the white, which I will demo. Um, and you could very easily do a boomer with this. So you could do your white, blend it up, and then you could do your nude and blend it down. Okay, so again, just going over this little edge here. You see the product is self-leveled all the way down. Uh, can you go straight in with colour with it self -level? Yeah, you don't need to refine it if you don't want to. Um, Kirsten, this is, this is biscotti. It's really, really nice. Okay, I'm just pulling that back. Okay, beautiful. Get my glove underneath so you guys can see. This one is biscotti. Okay, and that's gonna go in for 60 seconds and I'm bringing my love out. So this is my love when it's been cured. Super cute, like milky sort of pink. Really pretty, really, really pretty. I have got all these swatches like ready to show you guys. So when I finish them all, we'll like I'll put them all together because you will be able to see that they're all very different. Um, and like I said, we'll go with whatever um, you guys want me to go with for the demo one. Okay, so my love that is done. Biscotti is done. Can you go straight on top with gel color? Um, yeah, there's no reason why you, you, you couldn't do that. Um, you can wipe it if you want to though, um, depends to be honest, um, it's not going to hurt either way. Um, and if you want to refine it, then you absolutely can refine it, um, but you don't have to refine it. If it goes on like a dream, like it does, um, like I did earlier, it, you know, there's no reason, no reason to refine unless you want to give it a little tweak. Okay, so that one's biscotti which looks so nice, such a lovely colour. Okay, right, we've got three to go guys and then I promise you I'm gonna move on to doing my nail. You have the joy of seeing my horrible natural nails. They don't see the light of day very often. Right, okay, we're gonna go with Bunny. So this is another pink. Hopefully you guys can see that. Oh, it's so cute. That's, I feel like Bunny is the perfect name. <laughs> okay, so this is going to be our base coat layer. Okay, so I'm just doing a base coat now with Bunny. Again, if you want to do a base coat, one of the other base coats, you absolutely can. But there should be no need for that. This is going in. Perfect. I hope I'm not missing too many questions, guys. 
it's hard to keep when you keep sort of looking back and forth right so that's bunny let's go with um frosted so this is your white i'm really sorry if i sound out of breath guys um it's because i am i'm not gonna lie I'm literally just sat here painting, but talking makes me out of breath right now because I'm like 29 weeks pregnant, but I am, yeah, I'm not feeling so, um, so cool at the moment. I'm like proper huffing and puffing all the time. It's really embarrassing. <laughs> so this is a layer of frosted as our base coat that's going in. Okay, so back to bunny make sure i'm not getting mixed up here there is a clear one yeah i'm not going to demo the clear um but there is okay so bunny try not to go off screen here okay so this was one base coat of bunny now we're going to do our slip layer oh thanks guys yeah, it's not glamorous. Um, I do feel like a bit of a hot mess at the moment. It's not, it's not my finest look. I'm constantly huffing and puffing. <laughs> so that's our slip layer. Now I'm gonna go in and grab a nice bead. Hopefully you guys can see that. Would you need a base coat when infilling? It would be exactly the same process as you're doing now, just your infilling. So you would still um. You'd still infill, like you'd still do a, like a base layer all over, um, as if you would for any infill. Um, so all over the nail and then do, so I would do one thinner coat as your base layer over the whole nail. And then you would do your infill focusing on the area it needs filling. I hope that makes sense. I feel like I'm talking a bit of gobbledygook. Can you use this over extensions? Yes, you can. So this can be used for um, tip and overlay sculpt okay right we've got a good bit of product going on there now you can really see the self-leveling properties of it. it is really amazing are they easy to take off yeah this isn't e this is an easy soak off product so you would just if you've painted over the top you would just remove the um gel color so file the gel color Going back on myself a minute here, so I'm not pushing too much down the nail. Um, yeah, so you would file off the gel colour and then you would do your usual soak with acetone. Obviously, the more products that you take off before you soak, the quicker it's going to be. And then we're just going to smooth, smooth down the nail here. Um... There's a lot of questions that are popping up. Sorry, guys, I am going to be missing some of these. I'll try and go back to them in a minute. Difference between build me up and build it. Okay, so that's a good question. So um, build me up is our um, sort of original builder gel. Um, build, it, build me up is an amazing product. I have always used it on my own nails. I use it on a lot of my clients. Um, however, it is quite tough to soak off. I would say it's got quite a lot of properties of hard gel. So we strongly recommend that you infill Build Me Up. Um, whereas Build It, this is an easy soak off formulation. It's slightly more flexible. I would say it sits some, so it's going to sit basically in between our Give Me Strength Structure Gel and our Build Me Up. So if you've got someone that doesn't need anything, you don't need something quite as hard as um, build me up but you need something a little bit more than gms then this is going to sit perfectly for you i believe that you can't use this with um full-on tips um i just i don't think it's been tested with it i think that's what Sa i saw sarah say can i use build it as one layer base coat for normal gel polish clients um i i don't know the answer to that um yasmin nails and beauty i would be inclined to say probably not um just because I don't think that's the idea. I don't think that was, you know, it's probably not been tested as just a base coat. But Sarah can clarify, I think. Um, it is HEMA free, yes. Okay. Hopefully you guys can see that. That colour is amazing. I think that might might be my favourite. So that's bunny. It's so pretty. 
and it just self levels so nicely. I've ba I've literally barely had to touch it. Like once I've done that application, I haven't even touched it with my detailer brush on that one, so that's really handy. So that's Bunny. Frosted. Yes, you can. That's that's what I was saying. If you you might have missed it if you've only just joined. I was saying you can, um, you can you could do frosted at the bottom do a little blend and then bring a pink or a nude down and do a baby boomer i i haven't tried it yet but i can imagine it would make a really easy baby boomer so yeah you can absolutely do that so i've done my base coat layer here the frosted now i'm going to do my slip layer i'm going to go all over and i'm going to grab a nice big bead gonna pop that down there a minute so you guys can see it okay there we go just pushing it back oh it's so nice to see everyone's comments about saying how it's like the best thing they've done is changing to magpie i totally agree i can't imagine using anything else now. It's been five years that I've used Magpie and yeah, can't like can't imagine using any other products now. I'm so like I just feel like there's an, I don't I don't need anything from anywhere else, if that makes sense. Like I get everything I need out of these products. I just don't feel the need. Can you use other lamps to cure? No. Um we would strongly, strongly recommend you use um, our lamp. Like any any good professional brand will encourage you to use their lamp. And um, this isn't a marketing thing. It's not a money thing. It's a, it's a safety thing. Um, you won't have a guaranteed full cure if you use any other lamp. Um, obviously, if you're just trying something out, then you can try it with your current lamp. But again, we wouldn't be able to um, confirm whether the product is going to be fully cured for you. Also, um, your insurer probably won't um, insure you um, if you're not using the um, system as a whole. So it's really worth keeping that in mind. And that should, that's the same with any professional brand. Uh, it's a 60 second cure in the lamp. Just bringing this a little bit down that I've missed here. Cost for the whole collection is £140 plus VAT. If you sign up tonight, um, on the website for VIP Early Access, then you'll get an exclusive email tomorrow morning, which will take you to a secret listing. You can buy the full collection for 140 plus VAT, and you will get the free webinar as well. Okay, it's looking good. So if you wanted to make this a little bit whiter, you could do another coat, but you can see it's a really, really nice natural, natural white. Is this product to what you'd use if someone asks for Biab? Yeah, so this this is this would be your equivalent, yes, absolutely. We do have our structure gel and our build me up as well. But I would say this is um especially if you're converting to Magpie, I would say this is gonna be um the one that you find more comparable to what we know you know, what people know as Biab. Okay, so this one is frosted. I think that's a perfect name for it. Gonna go in the lamp. What's that bunny? Yeah, that's bunny all done. And these, honestly, these colour swatches down the side here, they're really accurate, which I love. I'm so glad that you guys are excited by this product because I am. I love it. I'm such a gel person. Like I've. I trained in acrylic first, like years and years ago, but like gel is just my thing. I just love gel and I just love a build gel. So this is like a dream. This product is lovely. So on to the last color and then I promise I'm gonna do one of mine. Sarah, would you price this client same as Build Me Up? To be honest, Leanne, I don't, I don't know yet. I was actually thinking about it earlier. I have, um, obviously guys don't take my pricing for what you should do because i actually want to charge more um and everyone's pricing is different however i have a four pound difference between my structure gel and my builder gel i'll probably put this slap bang in the middle if i'm honest um if i don't do that then i will charge the same as my build me up but i'm not sure yet 
I might have like a three level, so the 40, 42, 44 mark. But I'm not 100% sure, so don't take my word on it. But I would say you could probably price it in between. All the same. It depends. Like you could literally price all of your um, structure and builders the same. It really depends on your your choice. Okay, so this is the last one. It's Pampas. So I'm going to do the base coat. I hope you're not getting too bored of me, guys. We're nearly there. We're nearly at the point that I'm going to demo on my own nail. <laughs> okay. Okay, so that one is frosted. Perfect. Let me just check out that I'm not missing stuff. Mm -mm. How do they soak off? Um, so the soak off is easy soak off. If you've got a colour on top, um, then you'll need to remove your colour like you would with any system. Um, so um, yeah, take, take off your colour. Um, I would also debulk slightly um, because like it will just make your life easier. Um, and then you can put that to soak as normal. Early release is tomorrow morning. Um, so if you want to get in early, guys, sorry if you've heard me say this a million times, but if you want to get in early with the product, if you sign up tonight, if you go to the Magpie website, you sign up for VIP early access, you'll get an exclusive email tomorrow morning to a secret listing that will enable you to buy the full collection with a free webinar. I've just seen my cat say, Emma, have you got Percy with you? <laughs> no. Emma, if I had Percy in it tonight, there'd be fluff everywhere. It wouldn't be it wouldn't be a good look for the swatching. Um which one's the best way for French? Um, Hell's Bear. I mean, you could actually use any of them for French, to be honest. It really depends on the person. I am gonna compare them all for you in a minute. Um, I don't know what time it will be tomorrow. If Sarah's still here, she might be able to give you a rough idea, but I really have no idea on the time. Um, so here we go. This is Pampas. So I've done a base coat layer of Pampas itself. I'm gonna do a slip layer. Would you use an e-file? I personally would, because I, I love my e-file. Um, but if you don't use e-file, then you could absolutely do it by hand. But yeah, I, I would use my e-file. I use my e-file for basically everything. I don't want the web website to crash. Fair point. <laughs> so this is my slip layer of Pampers. Basically, just keep your eyes out for the morning, guys. If you signed up for early access, just keep your eyes peeled. <laughs> yeah, Sarah's saying the same. Just check your emails. Okay, so... This is Pampas. This is really pretty, actually. This is really delicate, this colour. I'm just pushing it back a little bit to my apex area. And then I'm bringing it down. I hope you guys can see it self-levelling for me while I'm working. It's so satisfying. I feel like I've got quite a clear shot on here for you guys, so I, I really hope you can see it as well as I can. And I'm just going to very gently feather down to that free edge. Uh, sorry, I'm just checking that I'm not missing anything. Would you start to use this GMS? Would you start to use this if GMS is chipping and lifting? If it's chipping and lifting, um, it'd be worth checking in with your client, your GMS, um, to see if they're actually following aftercare. As long as you've followed all the instructions, you're using the Magpie lamp, you're doing everything as you should be, the likelihood is, is possibly your client isn't following aftercare, or if their nails are quite long, they might need something stronger, in which case this would be absolutely perfect. Um, I think it's really important as well that with our clients, we kind of get to know their lifestyle you do start after you've worked with them for a long time you just know what they're like you know what they can and can't wear and what suits them and what doesn't so it might just be worth like checking in with your client ask a little bit about her lifestyle when is the chipping and lifting happening and then you can kind of narrow it down but yeah this product is going to be stronger than give me strength 
not everybody needs stronger but in my experience a lot of people do especially now i think clients definitely expect more from their nails um i think that is because of you know all the builder gels that are on the market um people do expect some level of strength there but obviously it's up to them to look after their nails as well because no nail is going to be completely invincible Pulling this back a tiny little bit here. I don't want to put too much down on the side. But you can see where I'm using this brush, guys. I mean, some of the colours I haven't used it at all. When it's slightly more sheer, I'm probably being extra fussy. There we go. Super cute. So that one is Pampas. Again, the colour's really good match to the strip. Okay, right, that's going in. That's our last one. Okay, so bear in mind, guys, I've just done one, like, thickish layer all over. Okay, I'm just going to wipe these down. I feel like I'm going to end up mixing these up because they are... I'll be able to work it out, it's fine. I'll be able to work it out, that's what I'll be doing after. I'll be like, which one's which? You can see already that the colours are totally different, but I am going to hold them up. I'm just going to give them a little white down because they'll still be a little bit tacky, I'd imagine, at this point. But hopefully you guys can really see they're all so different. Build Me Up Buff. The one I would say that is closest to Build Me Up Buff, I would say probably Biscotti. Off the top of my head. Um, Karen, I, I hope so. I absolutely intend on saving this. I, do you plan on saving it? As long as Instagram plays ball, we will be saving it. Right, so I'm just going to wipe these quickly. And then you guys need to tell me which colour you want me to do on my nail. And I will do a little demo on my nail. Wiping them down. I'm trying to think if there's anything that I've not said. Any other burning questions, guys? Now is now is a good good time to do it before I do the demo on my nail. Pom pom bunny. I do like bunny. I'm not gonna lie. I'm quite a pink person with nails. I'm, I'm feeling bunny at the moment. If I keep seeing bunny, it's going to be bunny. Okay, I'm just going to put these together as best I can. I obviously haven't put my names on these yet. Can I put the stickers on now? I mean, I can, but we might be here till tomorrow. I will read them out to you, okay? I There is um, a colour, a very accurate colour picture as well that I'll share after this. Um, but if I start doing my stickers now, we'll probably be here all night. Okay, so from left to right, guys, okay? So you've got Blondie. You've got Cherub. I'm going to go quite slow, so I'm not rushing it. I've got Blondie, Cherub. Then you've got Creme Brulee. You've got Pom Pom. You've got My Love. Biscotti. Then you've got Bunny, Frosted, and Pampas. Okay, so you can see they are all very, very different. Some are slightly sheerer than others. Some are more pigmented. Okay. We do have ten fingers. Yeah. <laughs> God, we'll be here all night, wouldn't we? Let me have a look. Let me see. I'm not going to demo a baby boomer now, um, just because I want to be able to show you guys like the ease of the applique. I've only got one nail prepped. Um, and it is getting late, so I'm only gonna I'm gonna do an application of a full colour. Um, but I honestly think these will be a dream to do a baby boomer with. Um, let me just check what everyone to say in a minute. I just want to see Bunny, Cherub. Right, if you're happy for me to go with Bunny, guys, give me a heart because I've seen a lot of Bunny. And a lot of pom-pom coming up. Let me just see, where's pom-pom? 
trying not to mess up here, making sure I'm getting the right colours. That's biscotti. That one's my love. That's pom pom. That's bunny. Okay. Right. God, my hands look really disgusting when they've been in gloves. Which one, guys? Pom pom is on the left. Bunny is on the right. Let's make a choice. <laughs> Let's go with one of these two. It's a pom pom or bunny. Bunny. For some reason, my chat is like not coming through very quickly. Pom pom. We've got two for bunny, three for pom pom. Another one for bunny. Oh my god, guys. This is a bit even. Like you're both, you're all saying the same thing. I think on me, Bunny's gonna look nicer, personally. I think this one will blend into my skin too much. So some of you are saying me too, so I'm gonna go with Bunny. Sorry to disappoint guys if this is not what you wanna see. But I'm gonna go with Bunny because I think it will look better on me. I'm very fair. Um so I have to choose wisely because otherwise I can look a little bit ill. <laughs> Right, I want you guys to pretend that this nail has, I'm do, I've done all my prep work. There's very small amount of product left on my nail here, like very small. You can see my nails are a little bit worse for wear, but please don't judge me. Um, teaching for like two years has definitely done that where you're constantly taking things on and off. Um, so yeah, there's a very, very thin layer of product on my nail, but as you can see, it's like, that is basically my nail now. So there's there's barely anything there. So I want you to pretend I've got nothing on there at all. So I'm currently scrubbing it with prep and dehydrate. I want you to pretend that I've done a full on prep. I have prepped it um, for time, but I want you to imagine that I'm doing my dry prep all over. Okay. And then I have given that prep and dehydrate to an inch of its life. Hopefully you got, oh, there you go. You can see where I've got a bit of product now. I haven't got anything down here. Okay. So, bunny. So I've done prep and dehydrate all over the nail. Nothing else needed. No primer. Don't need to use a different base coat. We're going to use bunny itself. Okay. So I'm going to do my base layer. So I'm going all over the nail. I actually can't bear having bare nails. So I'm so glad to be putting this on them right now. It makes me uneasy when they're bare. So I'm just going around the free edge and then going over again. So like I said, you want to avoid any bulbous capping on the end. It's not a good look. Okay, that's going to go in. Can you show all around the, bo the bottle? Of course I can. Here you go. So this is the front bit with the um, colour strip. This is the printed side, which looks really, really nice. Hopefully you guys can see it's, it is printed on there. It's lovely. And then this just bit is plain. I don't want to tip it upside down because it's open. <laughs> but you've got your details at the bottom there. You've also got the front there. You've got your mill and you've got your colour. If you use a base coat, is it still base layer to build it before the... Um, no, so if you if you were to use, say you used to get a grip... um. Then you would do that and then you would just go straight onto your slip layer of this product. Um, but I don't see why you would need to. I would personally try it like this first. Um, I don't think that you'd have any issues by using this as your base because it's been decided to be baseless and it's got good, good adhesion properties in it. So I don't think you would need to. Uh, the whole collection, it is 140 plus VAT. Um, and if you sign up tonight for VIP early access, you'll get an exclusive email tomorrow morning, which will take you to a secret listing. You can buy the full collection and you'll get a free webinar with that. Um, if you um, don't want to get early access, um, if you're um, wanting to um, wait until general sale, that is Saturday. Okay. So, I'm going to... Do my slip layer, okay? So this was my, this is a cured base layer that I've created with Bunny. And I'm now doing my slip layer. Please don't judge my nails, they're really not, not that perfect underneath. They look good on Instagram because they've always got products on them. 
Okay, so that was our slip layer. So I've left it and cured. I'm now popping my nice blob of bunny down. Okay, so I'm just going to edge. Hang on, I'm moving my... There we go. Hopefully you can see that a bit better. So I'm just edging back towards the cuticle. I'm not pushing the whole lot back there because we don't want to end up with a massive lip. You want it to be nicely feathered. Pushing into the sides a little bit. So I've got a nice even area here and then focusing on this nice apex area. So just in that sort of lower back third. And then I'm going to slowly walk it down the nail. I hope that's still clear, guys. Sorry if I was too close. And then, as you can see, I'm taking the pressure off as I come closer to the end of my nail. Okay, so you can see that's gone beautifully. I'm just going to bring it down the side walls with my brush, just because I, that's the way I personally like to work on a natural nail. I'd like to avoid getting product down my side walls. I don't want them to be thick down the side walls. I'm just very gently tickling, as you can see. Sideways on, what a dream. Look at that. It's just one go, it really is effortless. It is a dream to apply, like I'm not just saying it. I am very excited by this product. I'm just kind of sad that I've got to go on mat leave for three months now because <laughs> in like two months I'll be going off when I've got this awesome product that I can be using for everybody. Okay, so that's one layer there. Okay, so I'm gonna pop that in the light. So that's going in for 60 seconds. Um, let me see what everyone's saying. Application looks amazing. I know, it, it it actually is, guys. Like, it is, it goes on so good. Like I, like I said earlier, I think it is going to really help with um, speed and timings up as well because it, it just is kind of doing the job for you, which is amazing. Um, I think what I'll do is I'm going to do a second layer to show you guys as well because... I know, Gemma, I thought that it goes so nice with the lilac that I've got on. Um, I'm going to do a second layer um, just so that you can see, because obviously some people would want this and they just wouldn't want a colour on top. Um, so I'm going to do a second layer so you guys can see what two layers would look like on my um, nail. Um, Gem, I think you just asked about pricing. It is £14 plus fat per bottle. So that's an amazing price for Builder Gel. Um, if you buy the full collection, it's £140 um, plus that. And then you, with that, if you sign up for early access tonight to buy it tomorrow, um, you'll get the free webinar as well. Okay. Right, so that's one coat. Um, someone said, what colour have I got on? It might have been Alice, I think, possibly. Um, this is um, the new one. This is Hey Petal, the new lilac. It looks better when I've got a tan, but you know. <laughs> So this is one coat of bunny. I'm going to do another coat. So I'm going to pretend that I'm going to have a French. So I'm going to pop another coat on just to bring the colour up a bit. But to be honest, I don't think you would even need... I mean, I'm quite lucky with my nails there. Even though they're not very pretty to look at when they're bare, they've got quite a good natural kind of apex to them. So I wouldn't need too much product on them, to be honest. Um, but if you want to get that colour up a little bit more than you absolutely could... Can you buy individuals tomorrow? No, not tomorrow. Um, general sale is uh, Saturday. So I'm just going in with a slightly lesser amount here. As you can see, this is just nice and thin now. And I'm just doing this to build my colour up. Like so. I really don't like my nails to be too thick. Like I've got a thing about thick nails. So for me, this product is going to be a dream because it's going to allow me to create nice and natural overlays that have got strength but don't need to be really bulky oh my god that color is so good hopefully you guys can see that so you've got that nice natural so it's nice and feathered coming up from the cuticle little apex going on there bringing it down feathered to the free edge there you go hopefully you guys can see that line of light is perfect so nice and it's going in. I'm going to want to take my colour off now and just have this. <laughs> it looks so pretty. So that's going in for 60 seconds. Uh, the brush that I was just using there, Emily, was um, the RT Gel in a Detail 12. Thanks, Alice. 
Well, the, I, I don't want to take all the credit for the Apex because I feel like it's the product. <laughs> like, it's just really easy to use. Um, so my hand's just in the lamp a minute, guys, with that. Um, I don't think I've missed out anything that I need to tell you guys. I think I've told you as much of the information about the product that I have. I'll just run through it very quickly again. It's baseless. You can use the product itself as a base coat, then do your slip layer and then build your structure of the nail. Um, but you can use a base if you wish. Um, yes, um, can we still refine? Yes, you absolutely can. Like, I'm a bit of a perfectionist, so I do love um, refining. Um, but I mean, honestly, if I was just going to have that as a plain colour, I wouldn't bother because it is perfect. There you go. You can see how pretty that is. That is so nice. So, um, yeah, so you can, but you can refine it. Absolutely. You can absolutely refine this. And it's very, very easy. Um, it's very, very easy to um, refine. It's nice and soft. Um, yes, you can do extensions and natural nail overlay. So you can use this for um, tip and overlay extensions and sculpted extensions. Um, and you can use it for natural nail overlays. Um, have I missed any other questions? Bear with a minute. Uh, Mr. are you doing any more live showing this again? Um, I'm not, but I'm going to save this so you can watch the whole thing back. All being well. As long as it saves, we're all good. Um, it's HEMA free, IBOA free, DIHEMA free. Um, so yeah, no nasties in this product. It's amazing. Um, can it be used for full on tips? Um, we would say no at the moment because it hasn't been tested to be used with full on tips. So for that, you would need your full on gel or your build me up in a pot. Um, would you say this colour is best base for French? For me, probably, yeah, because I like a sheer pink, but there's so many colours um, I, I wouldn't want to say because I think everybody's different, like everyone has a different preference. Um, so, yeah, I, I wouldn't want to necessarily say like that's the right colour for French because everyone likes a different colour, don't they, for French? It's kind of personal preference, but I really love a, a soft pink. I'd mix these up now. That would be a nice challenge for me. I've got to try and work out which one's which now. <laughs> but you can see they're all really different. So getting the full collection is well worth it because there's not one that's the same. They are an absolute dream. Heat spikes. Um, no, I haven't experienced heat spike with them. But if you do, then you can just use low heat mode on your lamp. Um, obviously, if someone's experienced an extreme heat spike because they've got like thin nails or are very sensitive, then you do need to make sure that you're working um, correctly for heat spike. So um, encouraging your client to take their hand out if it feels a little bit warm and then edging in um, and using low heat mode, of course, um, that will really help. The full collection is £140 plus VAT. Um, if you sign up tonight for VIP Early Access, you'll get the exclusive email tomorrow morning so that you can buy it tomorrow as a full collection and you will get a free webinar with that. Um, yes, you can watch this back. I'm hoping to um, save this in a minute when I come off. I'm just removing that tacky layer a minute. There you go. So that's when I've removed tacky layer. You can see how smooth and beautiful that is. It really is a dream applica application. I'm very excited about this product. It is lovely and it feels lovely, lovely and strong. You put top coat over it, it can be left without. Um, I would top coat it. Um, I mean, it's not going to hurt it if you don't, but you'll probably find that it will mark easier. I would always top coat, even if you're leaving it plain. Um, difference between this and build me up. Um, again, so I have gone through a lot of these things Um. If, like I said, I'm going to save it so you can go back. Um, but um, basically, Build Me Up is our original builder gel. Um, it's slightly harder, so it acts a little bit more like a hard gel would. It's a bit more compar comparable to a hard gel, I should say. It's slightly stronger. We recommend that you only in that you infill Build Me Up. It's quite hard to remove. Um, whereas this product is slightly more flexible. Um, it self levels beautifully. It's more of that. It's got that like builder gel viscosity that you would expect. So when you see it in the bottle, you can see it's got that sort of viscosity that you expect out of a builder gel. It's like a classic builder gel viscosity is how I would describe it. It's beautiful. It doesn't run, but it moves nice and freely as well. 
Um, let me see, can you polish over it without removing the sticky layer? Yeah, you can do that, absolutely, or you can remove it if you want to. Um, anything else I've missed? Sticky layer, done that. Can you create long extensions? Yeah, yeah, you absolutely can. You can create long extensions with this product. Um, what else? Anything else? I don't think I've missed any questions, guys. If you've got anything else, please do ask now, because I'm going to be leaving you all in a couple of minutes. Um, like I said, a few, quite a few times. <laughs> um, if you want to get the early access tomorrow, um, then you do need to sign up with the VIP early access on the website tonight, okay? Can it be applied like thin coats of GMS? Um, I guess it can, but I really wouldn't recommend that because it is a builder gel. Um, so the the idea is that you use it as, as a builder. Um, I you'd obviously do you do need some sort of strength to make the product work how it should. Um, I I wouldn't just paint it on like it's not because that's not a builder gel service. I think there's a very common misconception in this industry that builder gel. I think because some builder gels people literally just paint it on like a polish and then they say it's builder gel but it's not like if you want a builder gel if you want a builder gel manicure then you you want a structure built in um so yeah you do need to actually build some sort of strength with the product to allow it to do its job otherwise it, it's not gonna have enough to be strong um what am i missing layers um again um like i said earlier with the layers um like i've just done two layers on this nail but that's because I'm assuming that I'm, I'm just imagining this is going to be a French nail I'm not putting anything on it um for the length of my nail I could have probably got away with just one if I wanted to um you can do one structured layer with this product if the nail's obviously a lot longer how long have I got all over me here if the nail's a lot longer then um then you can um, apply more layers. There's not really any rules in terms of how many layers for this. You've just got to make sure that you do your base coat layer. So use this as your base coat, then go on with your slip and then start building your structure. Um, let me see, would you use this as standard over GMS? Not necessarily, no. Um, I think it's important to offer options for people. Um, so I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't use it as I wouldn't replace um, GMS. I just would say it's it's a it's an alternative. And again, it's it's question your client finding out their lifestyle, what they need out of their nails, um, so that you can work out what is best for them. You've got the levels, so I would say you've got your GMS, then you've got build it, then you've got build me up. So it's just working out what that client needs. Um, would you charge less for GMS and build it? Um, again, I, I don't really like to comment on uh, pricing um, purely because I think pricing is really personal to your business. Um, I It's hard to say without, like, I don't want to tell you what to do because it's not my place to do that. But um, I've been thinking about this today. Um, I'll probably price mine slap bang in the middle of GMS and build me up because I feel that that is the levels. Um, but that doesn't mean it's the right way. Some people actually... Um, some people actually charge the same for structure gel and build gel because it's the, it's the same sort of process, just a different product. It really depends how long it takes you as well. If something takes you longer, then you should charge a bit more because you're using more of your time. Um, so yeah, that's that's the best I can give you. I hope that helps a little bit. Okay, so I think I've pretty much answered everything I can, guys. Anything else um, that you think of, you can send us a message um and we'll get back to you as soon as we can um the uh, pictures um of the colors they're already available um so there are some pictures you'll see them on the magpie stories they're also on my stories if you don't follow me already i'm um at by sarah nail artist um and i shared that earlier as well um yeah i really hope that you guys have got a lot out of tonight um, we've seen all the colours, we've seen an application on my nail as well, so you can see how easy it is. Um, but yeah, you're not going to be disappointed, guys. You're going to love it. I am a mat, like I said, I'm all about gel, love builder gel. And yeah, it doesn't disappoint. It's a dream. So I hope you will love it as much as I do. And don't forget, if you want to get that full collection for everyone else, you need to sign up tonight 
on the website for VIP early access, all right? And that will get you your exclusive email come out tomorrow morning before everybody else so that you can get it first. You're so welcome, Sarah. Thank you. And thank you all for joining. I'm really glad we had a nice little turnout. And um, yeah, I'm going to do my best to go now and I'm going to save it. And then I'm going to go have a cup of tea. <laughs> Night, guys. Thank you so much for joining and I will see you soon.